I think this is a, this is a day that is that I think uh, everyone can be proud of. That uh, it's it's a good day to be. It, th this event is something that, that any, all all of humanity can get excited about. Um, it's just a fundamentally positive, good thing. Um, and uh, you know, I think we need we need more positive, good things in this world. This is obviously a, a, a tremendous accomplishment for SpaceX in partnership with NASA and a number of critical spires. In fact, if I think about the total number of people involved in making this mission successful, it probably adds up to 100,000. So I'd just like to uh, just to express a word of appreciation and congratulations again for t to uh, everyone involved in making this successful. Um, and uh, I actually, and just a just special, special word to the administrator and Kathy and you know, it's just uh, everyone involved. It's just, uh, wow. Um, anyway, um, it, it, is, it is a little hard to process. I, I think at this point I am somewhat overcome by emotion to try to come up with uh, cohesive you know, sentences that make any sense is quite difficult. I, but I think the, the, this is hopefully the first step on a journey towards a, a civilization on, on Mars, beco life becoming multiplanetary. You know, based on the moon and expand, expanding beyond Earth, and, and life becoming a multi-planet species, it, it, life becoming multi-planetary for the first time in the four and a half billion year history of Earth. I think this is hopefully the first step on that journey. Um, it will require a, a tremendous amount of innovation and technology development to make going to orbit and ultimately beyond orbit a routine matter where thousands and perhaps ultimately millions of people can travel to other planets. That's, that's what we really need to achieve over time. We're, and and that, that's, that's obviously a very difficult goal, but that's, um, it's that seeming increasingly real with what happened today, that um, getting people to orbit finally after 18 years. If we, if we are able to increase that, the rate of innovation, then life can become multi-planetary. This is the goal we should strive for. On, on Wednesday, during the first, first countdown, I'd say that I, uh, my adrenaline was railed at 100%. Um, and when, when the launch was called off, it went to 0%. <laughs> it was like I just basically collapsed and slept the, the longest time I'd slept in probably a year. Um, then oddly enough, today, I don't know, it felt like the, just the fates were aligned. And I, I didn't, feel, didn't feel nervous, didn't feel, just felt, it, felt like, it felt like it was going to work. And it felt like the right thing was going to happen. So, for whatever reason, I did not, I did not feel nervous. It, it was a very smooth ride. You can see on, yeah. on, on the, I think on the webcast, it looked yeah. quite smooth. Um, in fact, I was a friend of mine who's a filmmaker said, uh, y you need to put some shake into the camera to make it look more realistic. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, human spaceflight was, was always the goal, the, the, the fundamental goal of SpaceX. Well, like I said, to uh, create the technologies or help create the technologies necessary to make life sustainably multiplanetary. I can't emphasize, I cannot emphasize this enough. This is the thing that we need to do. We must make life sustainably multiplanetary. Multi it's not one planet to the ex exclusion of another, but to um, extend life beyond Earth, we are life's agent in this regard. Um, all the creatures that, and the, the plants and everyone that, that exist here on Earth, we can bring them to other planets, and, and it's very important that we do so as soon as possible, I think, while, while the window of opportunity is open. Um, I, 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 call upon, I call upon the public to support this goal and to think about this goal and think about how important it is and how fundamental it is to the future. We've got to get it done. The launching satellites is, is nice, of course, um, and it uh, keeps the, you know, we've got to bring in more money than we spend. This is important, but it's ultimately uh, all about life beyond Earth. Well, it, it really hit home, you know, when you meet somebody's kids and, and the, the vehicle that, that you're responsible for, you know, the, the, their life's at stake, it, it's, it really hits home. Um, 
So, you know, uh, there's still, so we still got a dock with space station, we still got a, um, still got a return. I think there's an argument that the return is more, more dangerous in some ways than the ascent. So we don't want to declare victory yet. Um, we need to bring him home safely, make sure that we, we're doing everything we can to minimize that risk of, of reentry and, and return. Uh, the, uh, we were able to do that with the Demo-1 vehicle, so f uh, we were able to retire a lot of risk with the reentry there. That, that's a big deal, but um, yeah, that, that, uh, anyway, get, get it choked up here. So it, 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 it's, it really, this, uh, yeah, I don't know, I'm getting choked up, sorry. I, I, I'm not sure I can answer the question any more than that, except, um, yeah, we're going to do everything we can to make sure it gets home safely. Well, I, I just want to say that I think we would not have achieved this level of safety without the tremendous support from NASA and your team. This, this, it, the, this, it, N NASA made us way better than we would otherwise have been, and obviously we couldn't even have got started without NASA. So thank you very much for your support. Let's, um, let's celebrate safety when we get them home. Yeah, <laughs> totally. Yes. Yeah. Let's do that. Uh, thank you very much. A uh, question for Elon Musk. Could you extend on Starship development and about when you expect you, you will go around the moon? <laughs> well, I tend to be a little optimistic about schedules. Uh, of the, you know. <laughs> um, so... Um, but I'm optimistic in general, so I guess that extends the schedules too. Um, I, I don't know. I mean, I, it, I guess I, I would I would wish that we could do it in two years. Uh, I don't know. That might mean four, <laughs> but I think I, I don't know. We'll, I think it's not out of the question that it could be two years. Um, I, I would be surprised if it took more than four. So you know, to those who who doubted us, I was like, well, I think you're probably right, you know. Um, I mean, the number of times uh, that I, I was told, like, because uh, I was taking the money that I earned from, from PayPal and, and rolling it into to create SpaceX and Tesla and, and, and I was, I ended up spending it all. It wasn't the intention, but, um, and, and, and uh, almost both companies went bankrupt, frankly. 2008 was a tough year. Um, you know, it took us, took us uh, four attempts just to get to orbit with Falcon 1. Um, and uh, so, but a lot of times I was, you know, I, I, people would tell me this joke, like, how do you make a small fortune in the rocket industry? You start with a large one is the punchline. <laughs> and I was like, okay, I already heard that joke 12,000 times, you know. <laughs> so so um, anyway, um, and it, was, it, it almost came true. Um, you know, we, we just barely made it there, that fourth launch of Falcon 1. That's all the money we had for that fourth launch. And then, uh, it, and that wasn't even enough to, to save the company. We also then had to win the NASA cargo resupply contract. Um, so that, that came a little after, you know, a little, little bit later, or right towards the end of 2008. Um, those are the two key things that, that saved SpaceX. Otherwise, we would have, we would have, you know, not made it. So, um, so hey, I think those those doubters were <laughs> their probability assessment was correct, um, but fortunately, uh, Beta smiled upon us and brought us to this day. <laughs>